Uh, you come to this place and then uh, you will see you will see men weaving. Men weaving. Weaving is a very tedious work that I will not allow my wife to do the tedious work, but they will allow the men to do it. That doesn't mean that women will not help. Sometimes you send her, go and buy me the yarn, and they buy the yarn. Go and buy me this, and then they bring it. They know to how to arrange to do everything, but you have to sit down for a longer period. Your waist, your thigh, your shoulders, your neck, so no one want the wife to go through this so that he said, I'm tired and that's because of that, I was not able to prepare something for you or do this or that. So they will allow the men only to do that job. And the men does it and do it perfectly. Now at the end of it, when they produce the cloth, who sells it? It is the women who sells it. So they buy, do everything, give it to you, finish everything, you give it back to the men. Uh, then the men will produce it, hand it over to the women to go and sell. Mo he, only here we see the men. They come from Accra, from all walks of life, and the women come to buy them and then go and sell it. So that is what they do. So the profession that has been given to them by the ancestors, it's waving. It is believed that uh, a hunter went to the forest hunting for uh, bush meat and he came across a spider weaving. So when he saw the spider weaving, he said, No, let me observe the spider. He observed the spider so much and then uh, he told the uh, Later came home and then uh, told the chief that I've seen this, which is so nice. When I go and see this again, I will observe him very well and try to come out with what he is doing. So he, the following day, he went to the, the forest again and he saw the spider uh, creating the web. So when he came, then he tried to imitate what the spider Day. From there, we have improved upon it, improved upon it. The first Kente crowd that came out was not for the hunter, nor for the wife or anybody, but rather they did it for the chief. Anything that it comes out, it is the chief that has to taste first, to see things first, make sure this thing is right before anyone else will. Uh, uh, try it or eat it. Like the yam that he asked, when they plant the yam, the first yam that comes, they have a big festival. Then they have to prepare a whole lot of things with the yam and they have to allow the chief to go through, see, taste, do everything, rituals and everything before any other person in the community will taste it. No, well, all the villages, that's what they do. That's what they do. Thank you. There is another village ahead of us. Uh, when those who are interested in Ghana movies, Ghana movies, the, there is a, a place ahead of us that when you see a village scene, that is where they pick it from. They come here and then uh, you know, shoot a lot of videos from this village. Any any uh, uh, movie that have a village scene, yeah, one of that I'll show you. The guys too that we saw selling, some of them have graduated and they have a degree. They have a degree from the university. Some of them have a, just a high school, and it ends there. Yeah. Formally, a lot of them don't go to school, but currently, all of them go to school. Good. Come again. Oh yeah. 
Get do. Okay. No, my Baba. No. You're Lawrence. Oh. Yes, you, I saw your hand up. Did they um, and we'll have a different color Yes and no. Yes, because one, when you take it from the governmental level, every region, I said we have 16 regions, and every region has a regional color. Up there, the chiefs, all the chiefs has their colors. When you come to Ashanti here, um, it's like a Makuzgavi color. They have the yellow, they have the red, they have the black, they have the green. So, so they have various colors that they use. Yeah. We're talking about the NGM, the Yeah. What was the reason? Uh, what, what was the reason the government stopped it? Oh, okay, okay. So you hold on. Let me finish with uh, this and that. <laughs> Because I was wondering why the driver has stopped. <laughs> Not knowing there's a big truck coming and the space is very small. Okay. Someone, someone asked someone asked why is it that uh, they've stopped the um, female genital mutilation. <coughs> research have shown the modern research have shown that. It is not okay. good. One, if you do that, the woman doesn't, the woman or the girl who goes through that doesn't have sexual feeling. Two, when she is going to give birth, she suffers. She suffers. And, and a lot of them have a certain type when they are about to give birth they have a certain uh, sickness called uh, fistula fistula and that is very serious if you don't take care you might lose your life and lose your baby so if they are going to have this sickness then why do you continue doing it that's the main reason why there is a law that they cannot do it. And uh, this law has been in existence for some time now. Uh, some of our grandparents at some villages, typical village, where the police officer is not there, or someone, they do. They hide. This, they're like, is totally different from our own country. So. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's, if you are found, I know some people who have been jailed. Ten years imprisonment for doing that, ten years. And that serves as a deterrence for others also. Uh, currently, every, almost almost people are just getting out of That's nice. doing that. Yeah. So they I mean, do it so women won't enjoy having sex? I mean, what do you really do? The, the reason why they do that in the olden days and currently some places is that if your husband is not there, you will not go in for any boyfriend, but you wait for your husband till your husband comes. <laughs> Meaning that if you want to have sex, you cannot have sex with anybody until your husband comes. To restrain you, the woman, because at a certain point, the woman will love to have sex with the husband, but the husband is not there. So what do you do? Remember I told you that promiscuity is never allowed in our traditional setup. She needs a side partner, she needs love too. Yeah, you need a side partner, and that side partner immediately it is found. 
you, the woman, will never have a husband in the community or communities around. That's right. Meaning that they will brand you prostitute. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, whether it is whether it is one, two, three, or four, wow. you are. And when you have such name, or people get to know, one, you yourself, you are bandaged, and then you'll be ridiculed. Your family will be ridiculed. Nobody will marry from that family. Nobody will uh, 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 give his son to someone from that family to marry. You need to be, to have purity. Okay? That is why there is a word that you use in Akan. A lady that is growing up, we call it Akatesia, Akatesia, or Akatesia. The meaning is that you have to cover it and hide it for the husband, Mr. White or Mr. Blue or whatever that person is to come and have it. You don't need to sell it out or give it out to people who are supposed not to have it. By the time the owner of it, real owner comes, the, 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 the let me put it this way. Spoil, spoil, spoil. Spoil. The economy has been devastated. I can feel You see, the one of the things, we are all adults. One of the things that your husband will keep you with him every day, every time, love you. Because men, we're supposed to love our wives. Right. You don't love with only your head and your heart somewhere. Everything. But what you love, the woman have it. And if it has been depleted, if the value is low, maybe the first time that you enjoyed your wife, then after that, you see that no, some people too are enjoying, you will never like to go in for that. Or from another tribe, and your wife goes to sell herself to people to get money, you will never like that. Then you yourself, you are, you are not a man. You are not even a boy. And if you continue being with this woman, the society are going to give you a certain type of names, you will never like it. In Akan, some of the names are called Okoto. Oh, <laughs> Okoto means a useless thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Can men be Okoto? Oh yes, woman will never be with this man. So therefore, no one wants to be Okuto. No one wants to be given a certain name that he or she doesn't like. No. As a result of that, the woman has to keep herself pure for the husband to come and marry. And when you marry, you take all the blessings from your parents. Oh, I, uh, when I handle students, who are teenagers, I tell them. Different America and different Africa. There was a lady, a white lady who told me that I got out of my parents' hand at the age of 13 and I started living on my own. What? Where were you staying? I stayed in my boyfriend's house. I stayed there for a long time, I like grew. I have my first child at 18. I did this, and she was proud of that. Wow. That is a culture over there. Um, we have no doubt it that it can happen. This foolishness goes on here too. It's, it's like nowadays it's everywhere. Yeah. Because of now, if this lady were to be in Ghana, ah. Uh, 
you know, that doesn't mean that she will not get married. Uh, sometimes, I know of a lady in Ghana here, she has five kids, no father. And she's keeping the kids and, uh, 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 you know, she has to do everything on her own. No father. If the child one day asks you, the mother, where is my father? What is she going to say? The only thing that she will say is just to tell a lie. Your father is dead. <laughs> Your father died when I was pregnant. <laughs> Your father died when we were a year old. You see, and every child wants to know who the father is and who the mother is. That is the reason why. That doesn't mean that this thing doesn't happen currently. It does in Ghana. There are some women who uh, we call them. Uh, 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 there is a word. There is a word. Um, uh, they haven't got into the age group, but they have teenage pregnancy. Teenage pregnancy, as the name implies. Yes. Yes and no. Yes and no. Even as an adult, okay, and I impregnate someone who is an elderly. Sorry, I won't use elderly. Someone who is of age, 40 years, 30 years, even 50 years, or whatsoever, without going to see their uh, uh, relatives or the parents before she get pregnant, I'll be in trouble. Traditionally. You have stolen from that house. <laughs> you have stolen from that house, from where she's coming from. As a result of that, you will be charged to pay a certain amount, and sometimes she, sometimes this, and a whole lot. Before the, if you want to marry her, before the ceremony goes on. There are some also, when they get to hear that the woman is pregnant, they run away and leave you there. This happens in America. They blame yeah. the woman because the woman has the child and they say the women are prom promiscuous. But many times, the girl loves the boy but he's with the baby. Uh -huh. So it's not that you're promiscuous, yeah. he just left you. And the boys don't, If a woman is going to do an abortion, should she get authority from the boyfriend now yes. or the husband? That's a good if question. she is yeah. going to abort the baby, That's or right. she can just abort the baby all yeah. by herself? Yeah. Should you need you need an approval from from the baby's father to abort the baby? Yeah, Should exactly. she do that? No. We're just playing games, man. Yeah, I know. It's just, just it's, it's you know even it's just it's playing games. It's 50% or half a dozen. Either a way. lot of us are Christians, and in the Bible, there was, there was a woman who sleep with some other man, and yeah. they were stoned her to death. And most Christians don't question that. No, they don't. No. But as a man, I, I, I was asking, say, so where's the man? Why they didn't stone him to death? Yeah. We come again, and we believe that. Adam was the first man. Yeah. And God forget to make women. That's the Bible story I'm telling you. And then after you see Adam look, uh, Adam look lonely you now, he say, oh, you need a wife. Right. So I'm just saying that a lot of women, I don't, sometimes I don't know how women are Christian. But they, they won't question all of those stuff because some white people put that story together. Yeah. But now we are saying that maybe we say the girl, I see my son, my, my daughter dress up in my clothes. Say it's a fireman. She's a fireman or something. Right. I don't want to see my son dress up in my in his in my his mom's clothes. It, it, it's not but it's wrong or what he's just that that's how we are. We, we we give the girl a little doll. We don't give the boys doll. We maybe give him a gun or a cutlass or a hammer or something. <laughs> don't, don't get 
Uh-huh. It's not about us, man. It's a culture that sur- they had to be doing some good things. Uh-huh. Why this culture culture survived for so many thousands? And it's still surviving. That, yeah, and still surviving. And all we can't marry to two to, to, to two wives, but a man can marry to a man. Yeah, that's right. A woman can marry to a woman. That's acceptable. But we can, we can accept everybody. We can't marry to two wives. So you see how we. Yeah, it's we, wicked. We, it's wickedness. We, and we wonder why society is not working. <laughs> Mom wants to go to work <laughs> and, and husband wicked. work and child come home and child wicked. don't see her mother when he comes home. Child used to come home and I used to come home and see my mom at home. Yeah. Now you come home, you got to make a sandwich for yourself, a 10 year old or something. Mommy's having a job, daddy's last, having a job. Last key. God, this equal. Like we were last key kids. I was a latchkey kid, I was and I, I don't think that I was deprived, and I had a mother, and I had a father, By and, the my, grace, father, the grace and of my father respected that my mother always had her dream of being a registered nurse, and he supported her in being a registered nurse, well, that's good. and so I am saying to you that there, there are not these absolutes where it's always this, or it's always that, or if you do this, you can't do that. And so I, I, I and and my whole family as a family unit, a mother, a father, I grew up with both mother and father working. That is very normal to me. It was healthy to me. We had a communal family. We had an extended family. We were not latchkey kids. Our, our aunts and our uncles, they greeted us when we came home from school if our parents were working. So it's not all this or all that. It is the absolute thinking that puts us in these boxes that well, makes I'd, us crazy. If and I, and, if and, I had and, to go and back, though, pass I would on. not want to be raised like that. I would not well, want to be raised If I wanted to go back, I want to be raised just like no. I was raised. I want to be raised differently. That's like a woman say, oh, I father my child. And you can't father your child. <laughs> you can't father your child. But you can't father your child. You do a good job as a mom. I go to the school and it's the same thing. I go to my, my grandson's school and the only male figure at that school is the guy with the gun. Everybody that is teaching is female. Yep. And he go home to a home now where no dad maybe not there, go home to another female. And then he get married now. So he's looking at another mother now. We're doing it. Because he doesn't know how a father... But, that's, right. but, that's, but that's, that's... I agree with you yeah. that there are more males needed in school. Yeah. But there is... A, there is a if you use the word, that, but you don't but mean you don't, it. Don't blame women. No, but we're not blaming women. I'm not saying we are. We're not blaming women. We say women. There's jobs that women do better than men. Okay, let me. Let, let me ask a we're question. We're not blaming women. No, we could blame uh, women. Let me ask a question. It's an equal thing. Let me ask a question. My question is that in America, if a man is 45 years old, he has a master's in administration. A woman is 45 years old, who holds master's in administration. Both of them are looking for a job. Who will get a job first? The woman. The man. The woman. 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 Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? 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 Is that not? No. A, a woman will get a job first. The black woman. You're talking about No. I'm talking about not a black woman, not a white woman. Oh, well, no, 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 no. No, you got it. You got it. If you're talking about America, you have to bring in race. Yeah. No, because, yeah. no race. No, I said America. But well, you can't do it. You cannot do it. Because it's a white woman, she's going to get a job. Why do you want to get a job? The white man would get the job. The black got the same condition, and they go to get a job. Normally, they will hire the woman first and because they have a fear of black men. Yes. Yes. Hold on, hold on. It's all okay. okay. Let, let, let me put a question on. Let me put a question on. Now, now listen. Let me let me put a question on. If there is a white woman and a white man, all of them having the same degree, if there is a black man and a black woman, all of them having the same degree, when they are looking for a job, who will get a job first? The white man uh, who is going to work for a white company and the black man who is going to work for a black company, who will get a job first? black company? The black company will hire black people. The black company will hire the black people. Who will they hire first, a male or a female? 
like it. Uh, they may have to take both after taking tests. Okay. And All of them have the same qualification. Okay. No. He said the same qualification. Why, 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 don't feel bad about hiring black men. They'll surround themselves with white black men. Why? Because they love black men. They're all saying it all. I don't know. They love black men. Because I can't hear it. Why do you love black men? Is that not discrimination against men? You got it. It's always that's a discrimination against women. Want to pay back? Oh, with some bad men do. Yes, extreme. Bad men. They want to pay back for what bad men do. It's not a man or woman thing. No, it's a pay back for what bad men do. Let's say, all right, let's say, let's have a hundred meter race. Put man and woman to run to do everything there. Put, but let both of us race, let both of us lift weight, let both of us do everything. Let's compete on a level playing field there. Everything we're gonna do, let men do it and women do it. And you see what happens. Yeah, because we are, we are just different, man. What the analogy or the analysis that I want us to draw is that in Africa, normally the men lead and then the women are behind. Yeah. In America, the women lead and then the men are behind. And in America, so there's no, so therefore, not necessarily. Not necessarily. That's not true. Not. In America, after a while, there's not merely difference between men and women, a uh -huh. boy and girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it comes down to. You understand? You notice that 90% women, women in authority. Uh -huh. Just yeah. like how men dress. Yeah. Why they that comfortable? To show your femininity. Rule me with your femininity. Your dress and so rule me with that femininity. I love that. But why, why you want to compete? You put on a jacket and a tie. You put a jacket and a tie. And, and a pants and everything. You just want to be men. You know, you just uh, Control me. Use your woman who to control me, man. You want a jacket and a tie? You want a you want a pants? Yeah. Look at the vice the vice president of the United States. I'm saying the man who just like to see this lady in her dress. Hillary Clinton said, We want to see them in dress, man. Rule the board room with your femininity. Rule you give the board. Don't be coming like you want to be men. I go. I go. Women have their frustration in life, man. Okay. They want to devolve men. I was about to want to say something. Yeah. 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 You see the way? No, no. Who you think they want to fix the tire? So he can okay, you hold on. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's fire. Fire. But I know it's fire. Uh, uh, it's time to cease fire. Stop firing. <laughs> yeah, cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Yeah. Okay, mom. What do you have? Okay, what I want to talk about basically is uh -huh. the division in the family. Yeah. There is a complete division. It is yes, a complete division. However, we as a group have we have lost it yeah. because when I was growing up, uh -huh. my parents had to work. They didn't have, they had, my father had three jobs, my mama had one job, and then one worked three to eleven, and the other one worked eleven to seven. Wow. And my father, only time we saw him was on the weekend because he had to work his other jobs. A lot of black men work. Now, what I'm seeing, I live in a neighborhood. When I came home yeah. and went to my friend's house yeah. and my mom didn't see me, yeah. she called my name and no one knew where I was. Preach on. Preach but on. guess who did? My yeah. neighbor yeah. next door. Yeah. Yeah. Her end yeah. went on the other street. Yeah. And I could hear my mom calling me. <laughs> you know, I was in trouble. That's right. That's and, African stuff, though. Yeah. That's what we are saying. If I tried to skip school yeah. and not go, 
someone would call my mom yeah. and tell her there is home and it's 12 o'clock. She's supposed to be in school. We used to go to our, our cousin's house and neighbor's house. I go to my cousin's house now. She asked me why I didn't call her before. We never call each other. We just went over to their house. <laughs> that time is over. Yeah. It's over. Yes. And that's where we have gotten to. What happened to the neighborhood taking care of each other? That's right. You could get three you know, beatings on the way home if you was trying to get one for the you get two before you even got to your house. So, so if you're if you going somewhere, you got to work yeah. You see this bird looking back like that. The sun yeah. comes from her. That is saying he's looking back for what we have left behind. Exactly. It's not just a bird that we put it on our shirt. The bird is looking back to tell you that your present is in your past. Look back there. Because African speak not like how this European speak. There is more meat, everything, it has a meaning. We do us come and say love you and it doesn't mean nothing. But the sound of a bird, you see people are going around with a sound of a bird on their shirt. A bird looking back, it looks so beautiful. It is telling you that your present is in your past. That there's nothing that you do now that is not because you learn it from your past. So we need to go back there and to take what is good out of that and what is not good, we can leave it. But it's not just this competition with men that you, you want to dress like men at work, but yet you are saying you are a woman. But you want to dress like how men normally dress is dressing at work. Oh, that's a European thing. Yeah, that's a European thing. Johnny, they had male leaders. They had chiefs. They had males in leadership leading the community. We don't have that now. But we don't need them because we can't, we can't lead. These women cannot be led because they think it's, it's something right, bad to say. Later. Yeah, you can't use the word led with women. As property, you can't use those type of words. Those are dangerous words. You know, you, you use that on your wife, you go home, she sleeps in her jeans pants. You know? Okay. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Thank you so much for your expressions. And uh, Aluta Continua will yeah. continue. Another another time. So what is this? Yeah. Where are we? Yeah. Um, yeah. Where are we? Yeah. Yeah.